In this video, <clears throat> I'm going to be taking you inside my head and showing you exactly why I do what I do in a live weekend league gameplay of Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best band player that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button. At the bottom of the screen, it's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now right there, starting off ripped here, as you see, I'm in my nickel 335 wide defense it's been the best defense all season long it is the best defense in madden 21 right now and if you want to get my entire nickel 335 wide defensive guide i'm going to leave a link to that in the description we're doing a lot of different things here with some match coverage principles zone drops and different things like that a lot of adjustments um but it all it can also be ran in several different ways it can be ran as a match defense it can be ran as a zone drop defense it can be ran as a blitzing defense a run defense and as well as a man-to-man man-to-man -man, uh, -man pressure or, or style defense so <clears throat> this defense really is very flexible it's very versatile and that is one of the many reasons why it is the best defense in the entire game now, starting off, as you can see here, my opponent's going to be in the pistol bunch tied in. And one of the things you always want to look for is, are they coming out in the same formation every play? If they are, chances are they actually have like kind of a, a game plan or a scheme from that. If they're just kind of cycling through different formations, a lot of times that means that they're just kind of calling their top two or three plays from those formations. And so you can kind of sit on some of the popular route combos. But when someone comes out in this, you don't know what they're doing. And so you have to kind of respect a plethora of different things. So I have to respect strong power. I have to respect some of the play actions from the crossing routes and things like that. Right there, nice little interception by my man DK Metcalf. And we're going to get out. And we're going to actually be able to return this for six points right off the bat. Defense does its job. Now, every single player on the field has uh it looks like my opponent's going to go ahead and quit out now i did have a disconnect uh loss earlier i completely glitched out when i went in the game so i am two and one so we're going to go ahead and just jump into a second game for you uh right here on weekend league now uh real quick before as i was going to talk uh briefly about my lineup so on my squad um, everybody, from an ability perspective, everybody has um, an ability on the defense and coverage. So I've got mid-zone KOs, I've got uh, flat zone KOs, things like that to help them react a little bit better in zone coverage. And so as you saw right there, DK Metcalf uh, did a nice job at just kind of getting in, in there and, and making a play. So anyway, it's going to jump into my second game here. And while we're loading in, I want to talk about my true fan membership. If you don't know what that is, it's something that I just started here on the channel. It's the best way for you to get the most in-depth Madden analysis on the internet right now. And basically what it is, is it's for people in my channel that are my true fans, people that really like the stuff that I like uh, or that I put out, like the content that I post. And so if that's you, uh, I, wanna, I want you to consider joining our true fan membership. It's just five bucks a month. And what you get when you join is you get access to exclusive videos that I don't post anywhere else. And basically those are videos that really discuss the in-depth, high-level aspect of the game. We talk about high-level uh, breakdowns on the offensive side as well as high-level breakdowns on the defensive side, kind of diving in-depth into what is actually going on um, in terms of like really, really nuts and bolts, like super specific and super in-depth analysis. We also break down every single week a competitive Madden player and we talk about their scheme, why they do what they do, and give you a really detailed report on uh, kind of what is going on in competitive Madden. So if you want to get access to that, it's something I just started. Um, so we're only accepting so many people, so make sure to sign up. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Um, but again, if you want to become a true fan, that is available down in the description for just five bucks a month. Okay, so back to uh, this offensive scheme. We're running, we actually get the ball on offense first. I normally don't like this. Like, this is not a good thing. This is a bad thing to have offense first because you're kind of automatically going to be down a possession, unfortunately, because when you get the opponent gets the ball at halftime, um, and so that's kind of the best of best of that world for him. So, anyways, we just need to be really disciplined here. We need to just execute, and we need to get down and try to get uh, some points. Now, right off the bat, pretty good base defense, honestly. Um, and it looks like he's in 3-3-5 normal. So here you see, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and kind of make some things easier on myself for when I get on the defensive side of the ball. 
but just open it up and we're going to be running with one of my new favorite route combinations i've been working out of the trips tied in a lot and i actually have a full guide on it you can get that in the description as well uh, for just 10 bucks but basically what i like to do out of this this is like the new hotness i think just leveraging the power of like the hitch and the ghost uh, combination is just really really fun you can playmaker them uh, obviously like right there and of course i'm gonna throw myself a pick right off the bat i got so lucky um but you can playmaker things with the hitches and things like that so we're off to a little bit of a rocky start on the offensive side of the ball uh, not quite sure what we're th what we were thinking by throwing that uh that route uh should just try to scramble and get out of the pocket but anyways uh he's running some interesting concepts himself with this um, nickel 335. So we're just gonna hit the delay fade. It looks like he's gonna be a cover four drop kind of guy. Um, and so we know how to beat that if he's gonna sit in that for the majority of the game. It does look like he's gonna just kind of sit and cover four drop um, and make adjustments. So we're gonna go to our cover four drop beater uh, right off rip here, actually. Just double hitches here. What I like this is really a, a nice little play. And we're going to get a nice dot over the top. One play touchdown against cover four drop. Ah, it should have been a one play touchdown, but it ended up being a, a dot, but not a, not a one play for us. We weren't able to get in. So we're just going to go down, check down to the base out of a no huddle. Base is so hard to consistently stop. And he's gotten, like, really lucky block sheds, uh, like, opening up here with this pinch D. Maybe this is the new hotness. Maybe this is the new way to defend base. I don't know. Um just doesn't seem like that would be sound, but I mean, he's getting instant hit sticks every single play. So good, good job by my opponent, I guess. Um, I just don't, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen that be an effective strategy, what he's doing, um, but apparently he's able to stop base. So we're gonna go down to eye tight here. Um, and this is becoming one of my favorite little plays, this little PA uh, fullback slide. I got the tight end on the right under delay drag. You'll see that they're not gonna come out. And then you have this nice little crosser in the back of the end zone easy dot for rg3 and we're going to go up top and we're going to get on the board here seven zip, seven zip so it's a little bit of a shaky first drive um but we did get seven okay so it was a little bit of a shaky first drive but we were able to get seven and now we get the opportunity to be able to get on the defensive side of the ball and let our defense play our defense uh my defense is really really good uh, at least in my opinion it just does a really good job of Taking away a lot of the meta, a lot of what people like to do. If you're struggling with bunch tight end or you struggle with bunch or whatever, um, this defense is pretty decent for stuff like that. So that's why I like it so much. But anyways, uh, we just got to jump in and get ourselves uh, set up right off the bat here. So I'm just going to do some RB subs, get our best personnel possible. The reason that the nickel 335 uh, wide is such a good defense is because it allows you to put um just allows you to be able to put the best personnel possible uh on the field so as you can see here just kind of going through and uh put plugging and playing uh with everybody here and looks like my opponent's going to come out and get some gun split close so this should be a fun little matchup um i got pretty decent split close d i feel like but we'll see obviously you gotta watch out for like the power this cover four quarter scheme is really designed for something like a compressed set um it's really really good against compression so we'll see and of course we leaved it. I don't know. Ah, stupid rollouts. So not sure what happened there. Um, I think it was just one of those garbage time things with like a route balance, honestly. So we're gonna stick with the same defense. The only difference is we are going to put the right side guy in a spy. I don't know what happened on that. I don't know why he was able to get out there. So we're just gonna use a spy. So to keep him in the pocket so that the routes don't bounce as bad. There we go. So see right there. That's see, I just don't know how he got over the top of that cloud. Unless he, he might have used like a he might have used a ghost route. I don't know. But anyway, there you see uh, the defense do what it needs to do. And right here he's gonna flip the play. We've got the spy on the field. The spy is the key. So let's hope we can cross her. And that's, I'm okay with that. I'm actually okay. I don't feel like that was a, a great read. I feel like he, he was able to complete it, but I just don't feel like that was a great route. Um, so anyways, he's doing this little flip glitch, which is interesting. I'm kind of intrigued by what he's doing here. But we've got our setup in here. We've got our cover four quarters there. 
I don't know where my... Oh, because I'm not putting a vert hook on that side, huh? All right, we're just going to blitz him. I'm just going to send the goons here. All right, so kind of a bad... I mean, I feel like there was a bad sample size. One of the things, real quick, a tip for defense is on defense. Whenever you get inside the 10, you will ideally will take your zone drops off. Now you need to remember uh, one of the keys that I often forget is you need to remember to uh, keep them on or like re-put them on if you need to. So just think about that. But anyway, right here, I'm just gonna try to shoot some pressure up his, yep, right in his face. Just trying to shoot just a little quick pressure. So now that puts him in a third and 11. Um, and then we can do that we've got man coverage across the board and then our job is to just take the middle away he got to delay a game that's a huge penalty um because that now he's got to go 20 yards so now um he's backed off enough so where we could put our our flat zones and everything back on the field and now in this situation this is where i like to uh simply play like cover three with a spy just mabel coverage really try to just take away i'm gonna back up as much as i can um, cause we're just in all out end zone protection here. We're just trying to protect the end zone. If he wants to go for it, great, but we want to force him to have to at least go for it. Have to work a little bit here, um, back to the end zone. Just really trying to just take that away. And there's a huge sack. So now fourth and 30. So defense, honestly, I'll take this all day. The defense did not have a great first drive, but it was able to get out and hold to three. To me, that is super, super, super important. Like, huge huge deal so um actually a huge win right there for the defense to be able to hold to three uh, i'm gonna move this over to the left side because that way it doesn't block anything so that's huge like we hold to three and we get the ball back with enough time to be able to go down and either get three or seven ourselves so we need to execute on this drive it's a big drive for the offense but defense did its job i believe that if you can hold your opponent to field goals as opposed to giving up touchdowns you're going to win a lot more games than not. So really excited that we were able to hold to three. Here are going to try to get outside and good D by my opponent on the kick return. Uh, but we did at least get to a hash mark. I really like to bring the ball out just because I want to get on a hash mark. But I also uh, don't underestimate like hit stick fumbles. So you might need a slide or, or whatever. But, but anyway, all right, let's see what my opponent's doing on offense. Again, if you want to get the exact offense and the exact defense that I'm running in this gameplay, you can get both of those down in the description. Uh, I will have links to both of them down below. All right, so right here, it looks like a zone look. I, he's gotta be running his, um, oh, he's gotta be running his cover four scheme. He might have adjusted it a little bit, but we're just gonna see. We're gonna kind of go with a little bit of a basic concept here. It's one of my new favorite little just yard gainers. And I could roll out of this. And Griffin sold, I don't know what Griffin was doing there. So he's doing this weird, like, it's actually really weird what he's doing. And honestly, when people do this to me, I really like to just do this adjustment right here. I feel like this is the way to beat people like this. And I'm gonna throw a book. Oh, I got so lucky, okay. So I'm just kind of like trying to figure out what his user strategy is. I'm not seeing, I'm just not quite, he's just kind of doing some weird stuff. Right here, I'm gonna quick snap this just in case he's in cover two. I think he is, and he's not, of course. We gotta get out of the pocket. RG3, 99 speed, making a play and getting down. That's a good play by RG3. It's actually why I've went back to him a little bit. I've been doing a little bit more rollout. I probably am gonna switch back to Favre because um, I want to play from the pocket. That's just my personality, but right here, and do some some simple things um and he's just playing some weird d i don't even know what he's doing i feel like he's just dropping hmm he's just kind of confusing me a little bit with the way his zones are dropping so I i'm trying to figure out i think i'm just going to go to a basic uh, pa counter go concept just because of the way he's playing i just i don't know what he's really and the other thing is like I mean, we are holding up pretty good. Our linemen are doing good. But let's just see how he defends this. And there's the crosser. Wide open. Laser. 
absolute laser. That crosser is so dang good. It's so hard to defend on the rollout. That's why I really like having Griffin. Um, just because he can get out of the pocket a little bit better than Favre can. And he can, when they get out of the pocket, you know, I mean, the releases aren't as big of a deal, I feel like, when they're out of the pocket. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to go to some of my more basic concepts. Just because of the way this guy's playing, um, I feel like I kind of have to. So, we're going to go with a little Max Pro. A little double team off the edge here. Another nice little rollout dot to Ayuk on the outside. And as you're seeing, I mean, this is just basic. Because the way he's playing, he's just, I don't know i don't know how to quite explain what he's doing. But I feel like he's, I don't know. Let's run this concept again. And this time we're going to use, but the other thing is he's only blitzing like two people. But let's just read this. The way his, it's probably more along, along the lines of like the way his user's playing. But he's like really, really heavy underneath. He's using hook curls on both sides of the field. That's something that we were noticing. So those are just things that you have to pay attention to. Um, right here, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna put the title on the post. First work left. We're just gonna throw it away. Right there, I could have probably forced it to circle, um, but it would have been a little bit tight. So I just got rid of the ball. Third and four situation. Remember, we're okay if we... I mean, he does get ball at half. But so far, so good defensively. We've been playing decent. So I don't want to, like, ruin anything. But right here, we're going to go to um, a different setup. Use an option route. And good pressure by him. I don't know how he got off that block so easily, but good job. Because I've got post up on both of my guards, I think. Which means they normally do a really good job when they're in a double team. I must have not double teamed them. But anyway, um, so 7-10. to 10. Now, he does have time. He can get the ball, go down and score 7. So I've got to be strategic defensively. Um, here and just kind of try to play a little bit more bend but don't break. I won't be as aggressive as I was on the first drive where I gave up that big dot of the crosser kind of as a broken play. So here we just need to get down, get a tackle, and then just play really disciplined. We used to be really disciplined on defense um, to try to keep everything out in front of us here. So going to be interesting to see kind of what strategy he goes to. But I already know kind of the defense that we're going to sit in. It's very similar to the defense that we closed that first half out with. Or, or that first drive out with. Maybe if I get my adjustments in there, you see it right there. Just heavy, heavy, heavy coverage. Um, and really what we're trying to do here is get our hard flats, our clouds. we got to get them outside. So like right here, you got the dig. And see, he tries to go the same thing, but this time we've got the deep blue coverage over the top of that. So that's a little bit better. A little bit better of a result. We just want to try to not bust any coverage. If he's going to make a mistake, that's one thing. Um, but we're not going to try to like, yeah, we're not going to go out of our way to do anything too crazy here. We're just trying to really watch, kind of see. He's doing this flip every single time. So we might put auto flip on just to kind of help with our adjustments. Um, oh, that crosser got over. Okay, so the way that he's playing, just the way that the style of play that he's using, we're going to have to go to this adjustment. Um, because he's using ghost routes to hold the flats. So when people do that, um, what you have to do is you have to bring them from the underneath side. So pass commit. And we'll see what crosser there. A little dig. Look, so Darius Smith is right there. He was right there too. Oh, that's painful. I had a guy right in the vicinity and he didn't make the play. And now he's gonna get three. And I might have played a I might have played a little too passive on that. But he's gonna get the ball coming out of half. Looked pretty good on that second or that, that drive that before half. So we got a little bit of something we gotta think about. Gotta watch out for these curls. Um and just didn't expect that to get open as well as it did. So we just we just have to kind of keep keep everything in front of us. We're in good shape. I mean, 
Offensively, we've been able to kind of find a rhythm, I feel like. We, we, we kind of stymied down the red zone down there. But we do have a little bit of a rhythm on offense. I don't feel like he can, like, slow us down unless we make the mistakes. So it just comes down to execution from this point forward. We've played solid football so far. We've hold it, held him to two field goals. And we just need to try to at least hold him to one more here. So just got to kind of try to play um, similar to the way I've been playing. But I think what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of do this and just see the let the man coverage kind of do a little bit of work. I mean, he's running tight ends on, on corners. Like, I'm just surprised that the, the – the, I mean, he's running a – I think he's got a, a full Seattle theme team here. And, man, Lockett just roasted me on that slant. That's a pretty good route. So I'm trying to think. I think we're going to stay with that original strategy. The spy. There we go. See see that right there? Okay, so if you if you watch that play back, you'll notice that the running back on the left side was on a ghost route. Because I put them on curl flat zones, they get out there a lot better than uh, cloud flat zones. I really gotta watch this um, this this vertical right here. There, there. See, he's gonna throw it at it again. Yep, and see that. See that. That was what was getting open. Was this basically a short side crosser? Um, now, because he's flipping so freaking like he's flipping every single time. We're gonna turn auto flip off, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just flip it ourselves so that we are on the wide side of the field when he gets out there, just like that right there. See him flip. And he's going to flip right into us, basically. And here we got pretty a lot better D. The curl. And we got some... All right, so that's going to bring up a fourth down situation. Midfield, he's probably going to go for this. I got to think a little bit about kind of what... I got to think a little bit about my defense. He hasn't handled pressure great. And so I think we're going to do that. Um, yeah, I think we're going to send pressure. But what we're going to do is we're going to do that with a little hook curl there on the outside. Um, we've got that 10-yard cloud. We've got basically the cover three. And there you see there's the pressure. That's huge. So a huge sack. So this just – now, again, this doesn't guarantee him a W, right? This isn't like the game's over now. Um, but this does put us in a little bit better of a position. If we can go down here, if we can finish this drive and get seven, that's huge. Um, that's huge. So, uh, again, the way he's playing, he's running a ton of cover four, like a ton of it. So we're going to double team here and just try to get C. Lamb over the top. And we have him. Nice old dot to Ayuk. I mean, he is playing. He's just playing some really interesting coverage. He's he's really dropping a lot of people back. I think what I'm going to do on this first and goal is go to a little bit more of a underneath setup on the right side, just because the way he's playing. And we're going to have that post, and then we're going to have the wheel to back. I'm going to snap this triangle right on the numbers, right there, and that's what we're looking for. We had it. Wide open. The zone drifted away perfectly. And then we got shamed. So 6 of 10 here. This is a good time to try a base run. Um, he's handled base like ridiculously good. We're going to try a little cutback. And man, he's, he's kind of handling this run a lot better than I thought he would. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the little RPO zone bubble. The reason why... I just don't think he can, well, actually, you know what? We're going to go to, we're going to go back to that original concept. So we're looking right here. We're going to smart route the triangle receiver. Right there. And if we can just get a couple of yards, we could have got it. But this is decision time. Um, you can either go for it. 
I feel like you have to at least look at it. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go back to that one play that I like out of. Um, I'm gonna put uh, Woods in here, but it's a PA fullback slide. I really like this play. If he does come out in like a run D, if he yeah, it's like for, even if it's something simple like this. But what I like about this, and we might not get this, but we're gonna at least try it because we're up by four, so we're just gonna go we're get out of the pocket. And we're just gonna run it right in. That's what I like. You have that. It's like a sprint, sprint out option. So that's a huge touchdown. That, that's a two possession lead. It looks like he's gonna go ahead and close out of the game. So thanks for watching. I want to encourage you to think about becoming a true fan. If you haven't become a true fan yet, it's just five bucks, and it gives you access to the best of the best of my content and it's exclusive nobody else has seen that before so thanks for watching this video and if you want to become a true fan you can click that link down in the description of this video to sign up for just five bucks a month